here at home. The rise in inflation is noticeable everywhere and consumers are taking notice. But is the rise in prices making a difference in the grocery category? News Channel 2's Kirk Tupai spoke with local shoppers to see if their buying habits have changed. According to the Food Industry Association, consumers are spending roughly 6% more at the grocery stores, but are purchasing about 2.5% less. Most of the local retired people I spoke with aren't changing their spending habits at all, basing their decisions on a higher income level. But the story changes for those still working. I've noticed that shopping for Instacart, people haven't really changed their options of what they're buying. It's just the name brand stuff is kind of sitting on the shelf a little bit more. Um, they're buying store brand stuff, but the quantity of food still hasn't changed. Things are a little bit more expensive lately. Um, have to choose more generic brands maybe, things like that. It's been a little bit crazy. They haven't really changed, but I'm a single parent, so I do struggle. Food prices have jumped almost 10% since April of 2021. That's the largest increase in 41 years. Many people may be opting for hamburgers and hot dogs over the usual steak, but everyone's food priorities are a little bit different. I don't pay much attention to what she buys, but she, she shops, she's a smart shopper. She's always looking for the best buy and how she can save money here and there. The price of gas has some considering whether it's worth the drive from one grocery store to another to save a few dollars. I only go to two. I don't go all over anymore. I don't look for the sales. I used to, but then I buy things I don't need. My time is more valuable, and you're in one place. By the time you go to another, it costs you twice as much. If you are bargain hunting, you'll want to spend a little more time comparing prices, as the amounts in some items are getting a little smaller, but the prices keep going up. In Utica, I'm Kirk Tupai reporting for News Channel 2.